As long as I can remember, being an American, I've always danced to this type of music. Give me a chance to make it right. And now I'm in Central America, where the dancing is just a little different. So they generally dance a little different here, which means you can't dance like you do back in college in America, so that's a good challenge for me. Hey man, what's up? Yo Tom, I have a crazy idea. You know how you said there's actual science to why we dance and why we move to it? What if I use that same logic? to learn salsa in less than 24 hours. You want to learn salsa dancing in 24 hours? All right, well, um, good luck. Yep, I'll see you in 24 hours, man. The basic stuff they teach is something similar to this, where you go forward on your left, and you go back to this kind of middle ground, neutral position. So. Uh, that's one very important thing that whenever you do I know what you're thinking. There's no way I can pull this off But when you're learning anything new you need to break things into different aspects different components to make it a little easier So the first aspect is like where we live most of our life So if you're like me, you probably live most of your life in front of a desk sitting in a chair in front of a computer But what eventually happens is that some of your major muscles like keep your body upright start to relax and start to weaken So if you really want to learn how to dance also in 24 hours, we're gonna have to jumpstart our body in a very creative way. So why am I doing this instead of learning salsa? Every dance in the world involves the same muscle groups, the abs, the glutes, and the hamstrings. So before we do anything else, we're gonna spend 60 seconds working on our abs, 60 seconds working our glutes, 60 seconds working our hamstrings. Then we're gonna do them three times over. Uh, All right, maybe that didn't make me as flexible as I wanted to, but it's good enough, we're moving on. Fun fact, I actually used to dance to this song in college all the time. But the next goal here before we learn how to salsa is to take the music I've danced to in the past and understand what makes my body move to certain beats. So... Whew, that was pretty awkward, but... The point was taken. Now let's learn the beats that we need to dance to, the salsa. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. How's that feel, guys? One, two, three, five, six, seven. Keep it going. Five. Now that we have that figured out, let's actually start practicing. First step, find the right YouTube tutorials to teach me the basic steps. All right, these are good enough. Second step, learn all the basic footwork. Go forward on your left and you go back to this kind of middle ground neutral position, and then you go back with your right, and then you go back to your middle position, right? So it looks like one, two, three, five. Third step, let's add some variations to my basic steps. All right, now the fourth step, practice over and over and over again. Okay, now that I've practiced indoors where no one can see me, we're gonna go outside now to public areas to grow my confidence. So, yeah, let's go. So I just danced in four different locations. The confidence is through the roof. And the last test, the last piece of all of this to learning salsa is sending this video of me dancing out to one or two people and seeing what they think. Ooh. I've got to say, I've definitely seen worse. 
All right, maybe that wasn't as great as I wanted to, but it was a lot better than a lot of my dances in the past. So <laughs> for me, it was a lot about the concepts of, can you put yourself under pressure? One with a time constraint, and can you also give yourself the rhythm of the music? and then try to move to it with the basic steps that you learn very quickly, and then growing your confidence as you go about in the public area. So that was pretty much the consensus of all of this, and don't worry, I will make another video uh, in the future uh, that's a part two of this video, because I want to get really good at salsa. Um, salsa dancing has always been something I've always wanted to learn, uh, and it's something that takes a lot of time. As you can see, since I'm in Costa Rica, you guys can maybe can hear out the the music here, it's really good. It's like, it's all like a dance vibe and I love it. It's a lot better than dancing how I used to do back in America. So yeah, I'm gonna do it part two, stay tuned. That'll happen sometime the next year um, to redeem myself of like how bad my dancing might have been uh, for the viewers of YouTube. But now I'm gonna go take a shower because I'm super sweaty. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.